what I can say is never sign up, never write your own headline and not know how you're gonna get there, at least not in the way you think. Um, <clears throat> I signed up for the, the headline before, uh, why is uh, storytelling not adding up to numbers? And I did all this research. I listened to books on tape about storytelling. As many of you know, I've been asking you what's your formula for storytelling. There isn't really anyone, and so I had these ambitions to tell you about how to create stories that, like those guys do, and I'm not gonna do that today. I'm gonna do something a little bit more self-serving and <clears throat> have you help us, as in the analytics community, tell better stories. Um, and the reason why I'm actually saying this is because somebody I was talking to last night um, told me something. She, she said, um, don't worry about it. Everybody, then no, nobody else delivers on their headline. So, um, but I'm just telling you I'm not. Um, being honest about it. So, okay. Uh, we are related to these uh, animals in some way, right? I mean, they look, they behave. So there's some lineage there. How are we different? Well, we're different because we know how to collectively learn, right? We know how to um, tell stories, uh, use symbols. I can imagine myself in a cave uh, above a beach, like the Indians probably were here, uh, writing stories about uh, the waves on a certain day, like yesterday, the waves were really good, so I would have written that on the wall. Um, what, why, why do these stories um, work, right? What, what's different about telling a story than, than data? And what we know from science is that data and information lodges in one part of the brain. Uh, stories lodge in a different part of the brain. And that's because there's something in a story that is um, emotional. And I'll talk more about that in a little bit, right? But that's sort of, this is what we know, right? Like about storytelling and why it works. And so analytics gives you this, right? And you say, and I've been told, tell me a story. Tell, us, tell me a story about it. And sometimes it gets kind of um, uh, violent, like tell me a fucking story now. I need the story. <laughs> Uh, and that's, uh, and then we say, well, it's not, it's called analytics because it wasn't complicated. It would be called something else. So it's fucking analytics, right? So at some point we need help. And, um, I think though, if you go back in history, right? Like to, to the Babylon, remember the story of the Tower of Babel, right? Everybody was, spoke one language and they all thought they were the shit. And, um, uh, they, they, they thought they were so close to God, they thought they were above God, right? And this was sort of the, in the days in the 80s, I guess, in the early 90s with TV, and like it was really easy to, to put a strategy together, put a media plan, um, and then fucking digital came in, right? And just, just blew, like literally it's like, it's like Babylon after God said, you're gonna talk a different language. And it's been really hard to communicate, increasingly so as, as the pace of technology goes faster and faster. Um, and so, but why do you need to save analytics? What's the, why do you care if we can't tell a story? Well, these days you need data to prove your stuff works. So those are magical stories, but at the end of the day, some CFO is gonna say, well, did it work? And you're gonna go, well, we didn't really, it wasn't about, it was about a conversation. Well, what about a conversation, right? The CFO doesn't understand the value of conversations. You can't put a number on it. You need analytics. You need to help us tell stories. Uh, otherwise, the world will end, and it's going to look like this. This is the last pitch I was on. Uh, if you see over there, there is uh, the pitch lead scheming with uh, business development to cut analytics out of the whole thing. <laughs> like, we're gone, right? There's, uh, there's an investment person uh, just drowning in a sea of data they don't want to do. They, they want to go golfing. Um, and, uh, and then analytics is just like, we're running away from everybody. Like, we don't want to be found. Um, the basement used to be a really safe place for us. Um, so what happens is, uh, you know, there's, there's, it, it's very tense, like in a pitch or at a client, like, tell me a story, tell me a story. There's actually a woman um, named Barbara Minto. She, um, she's quite remarkable. In the 60s, she was the first associate at McKinsey. And they moved her to London, and then she became a partner, and then they, like, were closing offices, I guess, and, she didn't want to go back, so she started her own consultancy. And she created, and well, she wrote this book called The Pyramid Principle, um, and um, this, this uh, mnemonic called uh, SCQA. And this is, uh, using SCQA is how you can help analytics tell better stories. So let me walk you through it. 
uh, the situation is the first thing you say, right? You say, so we all know that we're smarter than apes, like something the audience can agree upon. Like you all agree with me, like you didn't challenge me, right? <clears throat> so this is the easy bit. This is where you're recounting uh, you know, what's happened, bringing the whole audience up to speed. This is what is really important. And we talk about like, the, that story lodging deeper in the mind um, and, and it being memorable. You have to use something uh, emotional. You have to have some tension, some complication that, that, that lets the audience know they don't know what's going to happen next, right? They don't know what's happening next. They're paying attention, and, and that, it's that tension that does it. And, I'll, and I've been here trying to take notes and watching everybody's presentation. I won't, won't uh, go into specific ones, but there's been some that have that tension, like the MTV one. Uh, with the MTV case story, where, uh, case study, where they, they talked about the complication of not being able to uh, reach these people and having something that was more user generated. That was a really great complication. There's been other presentations where it's been challenge, solution. You're missing the middle bit, right? It wasn't that easy to do, you know? Uh, I, we need to figure out how to tell tension in a, in a world, in a culture, at least in the US, where we really aren't comfortable with tension. Right? And nobody wants to make the other person look bad because they didn't do their job. But I'll tell you, at least with data, um, you don't have to worry about that as much, right? Because the data, data isn't bad necessarily. Um, the next thing that you do is you have a question, right? So you just set a complication, then how do you resolve the question? This one's the easiest bit to get. And then you have your answer, then you have your solution. SCQA. Uh, the pyramid principle is right from the book. Sort of see how it works. Like it focuses the mind and the audience on the question in the middle, right? You've got your situation complication and the answer is the bottom. It's all very logical. And then so instead of uh, just showing this, the voiceover becomes something like, pretend you're the client. Uh, as you know, we've taken a ton of your money and we're trying to get uh, people to see the show. This, this is actually a client. Uh, Madison Square Garden Rockettes. As you know, we've been targeting British tourists because you know, they've been pretty loyal and reliable. Well, we noticed that the response rate was not as high as the last campaign. Uh-oh, that's a complication, right? We depend on these. Okay, so what's the answer? Well, the answer is that the exchange rate has actually made Newark more expensive, and so they're actually on the hunt for discounts. And so let's, the solution is let's try some, uh, some uh, geographic testing um, uh, with, uh, with pricing on British tourists, right? That's more of a story that analytics can tell rather than uh, this went up, that went down. So um, if you're really adventurous, uh, you can actually uh, do it Hollywood style. I haven't quite figured this out, but if you want to you know, help your analytics people, tell them, figure out what's a plot, is a channel a plot? Characters, is investment a character and the, the media vendor a character? Like, you can make this more interesting. Uh, one of the techniques I've been uh, reading about is, is um, be descriptive, right? About like, okay, so it's Martha, and she's a, a really good tactical planner. She's got like things written down with you know like every little detail note. She, she'll never forget anything. Make the people real in your story is one way to do it. On Hollywood, does it? Um, and then I knew I'd be short. Um, so I actually was hoping somebody else out there in the audience might have a formula that they use, uh, whether it's to tell a brand story or, or, or something with analytics to help analytics tell stories. No? Okay. Well, then be kind, and at the very least, when you're about to get really, really frustrated at analytics for not telling stories, remember SCQA, it can save the world. <laughs>